Happening, everybody. Welcome to getting ready for fourth grade math like a boss. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm Miss McCarthy. I am your host. I am your teacher, and I'm so happy to be with you today, helping you out. The purpose of these videos, this eight week series, is to get you ready for fourth grade math. Now, I'm not going to teach you everything in this video in these videos, but I am going to teach you the fundamental things that you need to know to be super awesome and go boss mode when you're in fourth grade. So, without further ado, let me teach ya. Boss notes. All right, everybody, we are working on addition and subtraction this week. So you're gonna go ahead and record the information in your workbook by clicking the description box below. There's a link, use that. All right, so for addition, our first step is to line up the digits in the correct place value. Step two, we're going to start adding in the ones place. If you get a two digit number when you add them, we must regroup. And finally, check your work. Now it is time for subtraction. Boss notes, here we go. Line up the digits in the correct place value, got it. Step two, start subtracting in the ones place. Step three, if you are subtracting a larger digit from a smaller digit, you must regroup. Okay, and you are, you are going to Check your work using addition. Write that in there. Addition. Okay, go ahead and pause this if you need to be able to record it down real quick. But uh, we're gonna move on. Let's get to the learn it section. All right, people, here we go with our addition. Our directions are to find the sum or the difference. So because we are adding, we are finding the sum. Now, whenever I add, I don't add going um, horizontally like this. I line them up vertically in the correct place value, which is our first step. So take my first number, 183,021 plus 46,976. So my four needs to go in the 10,000, six needs to go in the thousands, Nine goes in the hundreds, seven goes in the tens place, and six goes in the ones place. Okay, we've lined them up in the correct place value. Now let's add them. One plus six is seven. Two plus seven is nine. Zero plus nine is nine. Three plus six is nine. Eight plus four is 12, which is a two digit, two digit number. So eight plus four is 12, so woo! It's high up here. Nice landing, dude. We put the tens place in the next place value and we bring the ones place down, so 12. One plus one is two. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma. So 229,997. Step four is to check your work. So for addition, here's how I check my work. I rewrite the problem and I ignore the problem that I just did until the end. Okay, I'm not even looking at it. So it might look like I'm copying right now, but I'm not. And I just solve it one more time to make sure that I'm right. I didn't make any little boo-boos. Looks good, okay. Especially if this is a test, you will definitely wanna go back to make sure that you are solving it again. Okay, so we have problem number two. We have 500. 67,141 minus 8,325. Step one is to write them in the correct place value going vertically. Let's do that. And this time we're subtracting. So eight goes in the thousands, 325. All right. One 
take away five. I cannot do that. So I need to regroup. Four becomes a three. This becomes an 11. You just add a one in front of the ones place. So now 11 minus five is six. Three minus two is one. One minus three, I cannot do that. I need to go next door and borrow, regroup. Seven becomes a six. Put a one in front. 11 minus three, eight. Six minus eight, I cannot do that. I need to regroup. Boom, put a one in front. 16, 16 minus eight is eight. Five minus nothing is five. Five minus nothing is five. One tens, hundreds. Come on, that is how you do this one. Let me show you how to check your work. Okay, so the easiest way to check your work for subtraction is to use the inverse operation, which is addition. So what I'm gonna do is take my difference, put that on top, take what I was subtracting, put that next to it, and we're gonna add these two. So when we add 500, 558,816, plus 8,325, we should get our top number, okay? So let's try it. Five plus six is 11. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Eight plus three is 11. Woo, it's high up here, nice landing, dude. Eight plus eight is 16, plus one is 17. Woo, it's high up here, nice landing, dude. One plus five is six. Five plus nothing is five. One cent hundreds comma, and that looks just like what I started with. So we are correct. All right, boys and girls, I have two practice problems for you. And what I want you to do is try them on your own. So pause this video, try them on your own, come back and see if you got the answer right. Or if you need help, we're going to solve it here. So go ahead. I'll see you in a little bit. You are back. I'm so excited. We've got number three, and I definitely wanted to put in a problem on this video where you are subtracting across a lot of zeros because that tends to be kind of challenging for kids. All right, so we have 700,000 minus 1,270. My first step, do we write it horizontally like this? No, we write it vertically. We're going to write them on top of each other. So I'm going to give myself enough space to be able to do some regrouping on top. Because with, when you're subtracting from zeros, you definitely have major regrouping going on. And now, start in the hundreds place, hundred thousands place, or in the ones place? Right, the ones place. So zero minus zero. Can we do that? Yes, that would be zero. Zero minus seven. No, we need to regroup. But there's nothing to regroup from here, and there's nothing to regroup from here, and there's nothing to regroup from here, but we do have a seven to regroup from. So we're gonna take that seven, slash it, turn it into 600,000, and that means that this zero is now a 10 for 10,000, okay? Which means now I can borrow and give to this guy, now he becomes a 10, and now I can borrow and give to this guy, so he's a 10. And finally, to get zero minus seven, I can finally borrow, and he becomes a 10. So 10 minus seven is three. What's nine minus two? Seven, very good. Okay, you should be pretty quick at your subtraction and addition facts. Nine minus one? Eight, good. Nine minus nothing is nine. And six minus nothing is six. So we should get 698,730, sorry, not and, 730. And I'm gonna go ahead and check my work over here. So I took my difference, plugged it in on top. I took what I was subtracting and I plugged that in below it. When I added the difference plus what I was subtracting originally, I got my first number, which was 700,000, so that's correct. Moving on to number four. Right. So for number four, I made sure to include a problem with a lot of regrouping, so let's see how you did. First of all, we need to line up the digits in the correct place. Very good. So we've got 472,989 
plus 9 is in the thousands place, 9,999. All right, 9 plus 9 is 18. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 8 is 9, and 9 plus 9 is 18. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 9 is 10, and 10 plus 9 is 19. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 3 is 3. Good. 3 plus 9 is 12. Awesome. Say it with me. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 7 is 8. And four plus nothing is that. So one cent hunt. Where does my comma go? Here? Nah. Here? No. Here? Yes. All right, because we have ones, tens, hundreds, comma. And to check it, I'm going to quickly do it real quick just to make sure that I was right. Again, when I look, when I check my work, I'm not really looking at what I just did. I'm focusing on my new problem to make sure that it matches. Okay, so I went ahead and checked my work again. I didn't notice this problem. I just went ahead and started doing that problem. And my sums were the same. So I'm on the right track. That's what you need to do for a test to make sure that you're right, because you can make silly mistakes. And you might be able to check them when you go back and check your work. So today's B message is to be patient like a boss. It seems like everybody today just wants something now. What they want, they want it now, and they don't want to have to wait for it. And you know what? The truth is that we need to be patient and that we need to trust in the process. So stay calm, take deep breaths, you know, when you're feeling frustrated. And if you're working towards something, trust the process. Trust that if you keep sticking it out, eventually it will be your day. So be patient like a boss. Get ready.